Welcome, everybody, to the greatest episode of the Put On, let's just call it NFL podcast here. Dwayne Douglas here. We're going to do some little shorts here, like maybe like, you know, 10, 15 minutes about the news and notes about around the National Football League. Real quick, I know everybody's going combine crazy with all these defensive tackles running, you know, four threes and stuff like that. Um, we'll see, but we'll see what they actually do when they have to go against NFL guards. They have to actually get to the quarterback. When they have to fight through double teams, are they going to be, you know, also Rands, or are they going to be Aaron Donalds or Warren Sapps? We'll have to see if they're able to do those things. Um, but yeah, there's some, some quick notes about the NFL real quick. I want to thank everybody for who are, who are tuned into this channel. Our um, s- subscribership has gone up a lot um, with the, with the um, put on waivers media with the Raiders, um, Raider Nation, and the Fight On crew, the Fight On faithful, if you will, at USC. Um, thank you for joining the, joining the podcast and, you know, and, and keep, and keep just sharing with a friend, you know I mean? Do, do what you gotta do to get us, get to that point where we can get, um, monetized and everything like that. But we definitely love that context. Sorry, it took a lot of, sorry, we were off for like a good 10, 10, 12 days with content, but we're gonna be back on a regular basis now. Had to, had to take a little bit of break, um, to make sure everything was right for you. But, um, right now, first off is just Aaron Rodgers, this whole Aaron Rodgers thing, um, Aaron, Aaron is sticking too hard. And my father used to always say, don't be so smart, you're stupid. So let's just think about this process here. The Titans, the Steelers, the Broncos, Packers seem to be the four finalists, the final four for him. Just close your eyes and imagine the easiest route to the eight, to the NFC championship game or the AFC championship game. It's still through the National Football Conference, not the American Football Conference. The AFC is loaded with quarterbacks. It's just that simple. The AFC is loaded with quarterbacks. I mean, it's common sense. It doesn't make sense to come over to this league. Um, All these teams are going to end up quite possibly getting gutted just to get you on their roster. I mean, let's just be real. You know, everybody wants to put them on the Broncos. Everybody wants to help the Broncos get a quarterback. I'm not sure what the Broncos have done to really – you know, <laughs> um, you know, to gain that, but everybody wants the Broncos to get a quarterback. I have no idea why the Broncos get a. They, they want, everybody, want, everybody wants the Broncos to be good again, whatever. But do they have the wide receivers? Do they have the skill position players? Okay, maybe they have, but they have to get on. The, they have to get on the same page. There's times where Aaron Rodgers doesn't, isn't on the same page with people who he's played with for years, and you see him sulking on the sideline all those things like that. It just doesn't, I mean, the, if he comes to the AFC, I still think the best team for him to come to would be the Steelers. You know, even more so than, you know, the Titans. Titans played a bad division, but not only do the Packers make more sense, the Packers are in a division where they're going to win it easily. They're also playing the AFC and a- a- AFC and NFC East. I mean... Can you ask for a better road? I mean, they're going to win 13 games with their eyes closed. You're going to play two more years. If you sign with the Packers, if Rogers signs with the Packers, uh, stays with the Packers, I should say, um, you end up with a really, um, you know, Devontae Adams probably gets franchised. You know, maybe they go after Amari Cooper, all those things like that. But I mean, it just makes more sense. Like, do what you want to do, come to the AFC West if you want. You know, there's no, there's not going to be a Bears on that schedule. You know what I'm saying? Not going to be a Lions on that schedule. Yeah, the Raiders have a quarterback. The Chargers have a quarterback. We all know the Chiefs have a quarterback. And any of those quarter, any of those three quarterbacks in the AFC West would start with the exception of the Vikings all over that division. So just, let's just use, I mean, you do what you want, but because you're going to get paid anyway, but it makes sense to stay where you are, finish out your career. You don't got to try to do a far thing and play with the Jets and play for the um, the Vikings. Be smart and play in a place where you can win the division. Win the division, get home field. And this time, maybe you can win a game, win, win, win a playoff home game. Maybe the Niners won't be there. Maybe somebody else will be there that you can beat. But that's the best, that's the best path. That's the best path. No question about it. Um, people are going crazy about Kyler Murray. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the other side of the Kyler Murray, um, uh, situation here and just say, Kyler, go get paid. Like do what you got to do to go get paid. This game is a violent game. This game can end at any moment. 
they drafted you, you know, first overall, all the things like that. Like just get, go get paid if you can. The coach got paid. The, um, the GM got paid. Um, you, they know what an integral part of that team you are. People are judging him off of one playoff game. Now, if you want to say the size, the measurables, I'm worried about that part of it. The attitude, all those things like that, you know, there's nothing you can see. We're not in that. You're not in that building. No, it's, you're, you're just going off of hearsay. There's rumors about him not being able to do, um, not being the first one in, last one out. I'm not, we're not, none of us are in Arizona. So we can't, we can't tell you whether or not he's doing that or not, but I don't fault him for trying to get paid. I mean, you just got to use, you got to go out there and get, you got to go out there and get paid. Now he has to, you know, the Kirk uh, Klings, uh, Klingsbury, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Klingsbury has to evolve his offense to start playing football after Thanksgiving. That's a huge part of it. You've got to be able to play football after Thanksgiving. And they have not been able to play good, fo good football after Thanksgiving. They made the playoffs this year. That's always an accomplishment. They got waxed in the playoff game, didn't look good at all, but they did. They still were a playoff participant. And we live in this era now where you make the playoffs and you lose and, you, and, you, and they treat you like you have the first pick in the draft. Like that's just, that's just ridiculous in my mind. But at the end of the day, go get your money. Try to, try to work it out. Um, if you can't work it out, then he, you can't, you can, you, you can hold out if you want to. It doesn't make sense to hold out. You don't look good when you, so you're not going to win popular, popular opinion if you hold out. Baseball is not going to, baseball is really not an option for you. Let's just be real. Um, if, it was, if it was an option for you, you, you'd be playing both sports or playing baseball, Kyler. End of the day, I think they figure it out. Um, I know some fans want to see them not figure it out, like Niner fans, because the Niners can't beat Kingsbury, but I hear about, you know, Shanahan every day. But end of the day, I think they Kime, I think um, Klingsbury and and Kyler will get it um, will get it all together, and they'll figure it out because they have to. I mean, they have to. There's they're not in a position here where you can go ahead and and move him and get fair and, and get fair value and get another quarterback. I mean, I, I hear all these you know these podcasters and these um, these people on TV you know, doing clickbait stuff saying, oh, they're going to, they should move them. They should move them. They're trying to get you to click on stuff. Kyler is not going anywhere. You, yeah, like I, I heard about Wilson getting traded. I heard about all these guys getting traded. Like these guys, it's very, who want, nobody's going to be the quarterback. Nobody's going to be the GM or the coach who says, oh, we traded this guy. We traded Russell Wilson. We traded Kyler Murray. This doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all, um, as far as that goes. Um, more quarterback news. Um, you know, the everybody knows about how bad Monday Night Football announcers were. It doesn't affect me because I a lot of people watch the game on mute anyway. I, saw, I watch the game on mute a lot of times. Half, half the time I'm doing stuff while I'm watching the game, so I can't even hear what you know Lewis Riddick and all people are saying anyway. But Brian Greasy becomes the new quarterbacks coach in San Francisco. He was a teammate of Tom Brady. So everybody's going to kind of try to try to connect the dots because people don't want the Tom Brady era to end. Um, somebody better go tell Tampa Bay Buccaneers about that. Because when this, when, 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 when their head coach, when, when, um, when, when, when their GM says, Hey, guess what? If you want him five ones, like his rights belong to the, to the Bucs. And if you want them, you're going to pay a high price for it. But it shouldn't be a problem in San Francisco because they drafted Trey Lance. He sat for a year. It's time to play Trey Lance. It's just that simple. It's time to play him. You want to not play him last year? I would have played him last year despite his lack of experience. I would have played him last year, took the bumps on the head, maybe get a, um, you know, a guy who can come in and um, just be a stopgap guy. They made, the, they made the final four last year. They also barely, you got to keep it in perspective. They made the final four last year, but they also barely made the playoffs. So there's a little bit of a, is that, is that like they went, you know, you know, 12 and five, you know, they really, they, they, it was, they were down 17 to three. They were a play away from not making the, for not even being a, a participant in the playoffs. That's the one shining hand thing that he has going for him in, in San Francisco. He's made the playoffs two out of five years, 
But when he makes the playoffs, they make a serious run, a play away from winning the Super Bowl and then a play away from going to another Super Bowl here and there. So with that being said, they should have traded Jimmy G last year. They're, they're now they're going to struggle to trade Jimmy G this year, and Jimmy G is going to end up being a guy who, you know, forces his way out with this new with his discovery of the shoulder situation. He's going to force his way out, and then you know, you're going to end up cutting him. And now you have to, you got to play Trey Lance. You traded all these assets. You, you wanted to get rid of him so bad. You want to get you wanted to get rid of Jimmy G so bad. Like it now is the time to get rid of Jimmy G. If you have to cut him, you get you cut him. If you have to cut him, you just cut him. And then when after you cut him, you play Trey Lance. Like it's that simple. I mean, that's that's what the progression has, says you have to do is just you play Trey Lance. Whatever happens, happens. He has to earn that team. So respect, he has to earn, you know, you know, that that ability to make big plays down the field. He has to do all those things. This is what you drafted that guy for. Everybody else plays that guy. Buffalo plays Josh Allen. You know, the Chiefs played Patrick Mahomes. Play the guy. It's not playing games. Play the guy and stop playing games. Um, Mark Cooper is on the is on the market here. And I, I think it's, this was, to me, this was not a surprise at all for, for Mario Cooper. Uh, I think we saw it when they drafted. I think the, the Cowboys have done a good job of drafting players. They got to win playoff games, but they got to, they, they've done a good job of drafting players. But they drafted um, C.D. Lamb. He was the best player available. It wasn't, a, it wasn't the area of need, but they drafted the best player available. I love drafting. We're in draft season right now. I love drafting best player available. It just makes all the sense in the world. City Lamb is, is, is on his way to being a really good receiver. They have Wilson. They have um, Michael Gallup, who, who, who's trying to get a deal done as well. So it makes sense, all the sense in the world to make those, get those deals done. Good job by, um, good job by the Cowboys there. It's just having that, that wealth of talent at the wide receiver position where it makes somebody like Amari Cooper exp expendable. They have a couple of bad, bad deals in that salary cap with, with the Cowboys. One is Amari Cooper. The other guy is look up the numbers on um, on Zeke Elliott. Boy, did they jump the gun on that on that situation. He's he's getting paid a whole lot of money, a lot of guarantee money there. So let's see if, let's see if they can actually move him. See if he can find a spot where he can go to. Um, if Aaron Rodgers stays in Green Bay, I mean, and they're able to find find a way to keep Devontae, and then you know. Hey, Amari, you want to play? I know it's cold weather, but hey, you know, you can play with one of the all-time greats. Um, you have Amari Cooper and Devontae Adams on the same on, on the same roster. I mean, that's that's a pretty good roster right there. That's a pretty good wide receiving core, pretty good skill position um, situation there. And then, then you got Jones in the backfield as well. So um makes a lot of sense for me. Uh, what the Cowboys are doing, they have to get better. They have to, they, I, I understand the only issue there is Dak Prescott's numbers when Amari Cooper plays and doesn't play is they're pretty stark because there's a lot there's a big difference there but he gotta you gotta move on you gotta roll with the punches if you're the cowboys and you cannot allow you cannot you cannot sit there and just not make a move like this like to bring him back if he wants to come back he can come back at, he can come back at your number amari likes that dallas cowboy lifestyle i you watch you i watch my instagram the every the flyest suits louis vuitton um luggage like he who likes that lifestyle I'm sure he also likes doesn't like he also likes not having to pay those taxes as well. So should be interesting. Should be interesting as far as far as that goes. Um, I, but I do feel like this is an opportunity here for the Cowboys to get some cap room, get better, um, and if they can move Amari Cooper, they'll be on their way to doing that because they still are the best team in the NFC East. But the but you know with the three first round picks that the Eagles have, they're definitely coming. So you got, so they have to be careful. They have to get some, um, they, 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 have, they, have, they have to be able to get some, you know, get some quality players there to, to battle up, to battle off the Eagles who, if the Eagles, the Eagles are close, man. The Eagles are close. The Eagles are really, really getting a, a really a team that can really make a big jump. They made the playoffs last year, but, 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 but can make a huge playoff run um, maybe next year if they're able to get three really good players in this draft. All right, put on, 
Raiders put on um, put on Raiders put on NFL also student body right USC podcast as well so that will be coming um, that'll be coming up as well so definitely keep tuned to the put on waivers media group subscribe like comment we take all engagement all that stuff like that we appreciate everybody joining us here this is a um, put on uh, put on NFL short we'll be doing these um we're doing these in the off season almost every other day or every day. Uh, and then stay tuned for myself and Ryan, Ryan Holmes with the Put On Raiders podcast and then myself with the Student Body Right USC podcast. Um, won some money last night with um, UCLA and USC and also um, the Lakers. Co- um, I won't say Kobe. Rest in peace. Um, LeBron with 50, over 50 points for LeBron. I mean, we should all be, we should all age like LeBron. All right. P.S. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>